Okay, let's start. Uh, let's summarize what we have learned uh, so far. So first of all, we have learned uh, what is linear equation. The linear equation with the variable x1 through the xn can be written as follows. It was a linear equation. So we also learned uh, a system of linear equation or called the linear system, something like that. So this is the examples of linear system. So in this course, we will we will deal with uh, this linear system and and study how to serve this linear system effectively and e efficiently. And we also learned uh, how to how to draw the this linear system something like that. And we also learned that there are three possibility of the solution of linear system something like that. But there was some errors in the last lecture because uh, some of your friend let me know there was some error so in the now I will I will read through to this uh, this uh, this slide okay so okay let me draw it uh, exactly okay so for this equation uh, okay if x1 is equal to 0, x2 should be the uh, 1 over 2, right? So, so, like that, and there is one more point like this, so it should be like this, right? So, for this equation, when x1 is equal to 0, x2 should be 1, so there's one point that's satisfying, that satisfies the, this equation, and there's one more point like this so it should be like this so in this case there is a one solution that satisfy the, these two equations simultaneously so this is called the one solution case another case is the and another case is like this so let's draw the, this first this is the same to this one so it should be like this right and what about this if we uh if we draw the this line x1 is equal to zero x2 should be uh two over three something like this two over three something like this and when x2 is equal to zero x1 should be negative three right so negative so in this case, this line should it should be like this, right? So in this case, there uh, these two lines are going to meet each other forever. So there is no solution case. So in this case, it's not an infinite remaining solution. In, in this case, this is the no solution case. So I was long, so please, please edit the your slide um, properly. Okay, so last case uh, is like this. So this equation is same to this one. So uh, like this and write this, right? And what about this? When x1 is equal to zero, x2 should be uh, one over two here like this and x2 is equal to 0 uh, x1 minus x1 should be negative 1 like here so in this case uh, these two lines uh, are exactly same so there are so many solutions so in this case this is the infinitely many solution case okay so this is a correct version of this slide so thank you for uh thank you for some student that let me who let me know this slide and it's uh it's it this is the examples of the class participation participation okay so what is that? Uh, what else? Uh, we also learned the what is the consistent and what is 
the inconsistent system. And we also learned the equivalent. What was the equivalent? If two linear equations have, if these two linear equations have the same solution set, this, uh, they, they are called the equivalent system, okay? So it was the equivalent. And we also introduced the matrix uh, concept because the, this linear system uh, represented in a uh, equations form it's really hard to deal with so we introduced the uh, uh, matrix form it is much easier to deal with okay so it was matrix form uh, uh, specifically if we just think about the, this coefficient th this is called the coefficient matrix but uh, if we think about one more line in the right hand side like this, it was called the uh, augmented matrix. Like this, so in this uh in this lecture we were we were dealing with the uh, augmented matrix, right? So the size of matrix can be represented by the m rows and n columns, something like this. You remember correctly, right? And what was column? Column means like this. So column means the uh column means the 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 values at each at each back at each how to say each vector like this so this is the matrix notation something like that and we learned the how to solve the linear system in a system systemic way so the basic st uh, strategy to solve this uh, uh, linear system was like this so to find the solution set of the system, we can replace the one system, one system means the original system with the equivalent system that is easier to solve, right? So here you can see here. So this, uh, this is the original system that we want to solve. And this is the another, another system. But these two systems have a same solution set, so they are equivalent. But this system is much easier to solve. So uh, what we want to do is to convert the original system to the uh, equivalent system. So the, uh, that is, that is uh, easier to solve, okay? So this is the basic strategy. So let's see the example. Actually, in this uh, in this lecture, we were uh, we were talking about the kaganpop in Korea. I guess I believe you, uh, some of you, not some of you, most of you uh, already know about this concept. But we in this lecture we we formal uh, formalized uh, this concept in a matrix world. So okay, so there are linear system with the uh, three variable with the three equations right so the question how what is the augmented matrix of this equation okay what is the augmented matrix first of all what then what is size of the augmented matrix because there is a three equation, the number of rows should be three, right? And what about column? What about column? Because we have a three variable with additional uh, output values here. So augment, uh, the number of columns should be four, right? So the augmented matrix should be one, negative two, one zero zero because there is the zero times x one plus something like this so and two negative eight eight negative four five nine negative nine something like this so this is the uh, augmented matrix of this is linear equation, right? So we learned how to solve this uh, linear system step by step. 
so you remember so first of all first of all what we want to do is we want to we want to keep the this x uh, this x1 values on this side so to keep the x1 in the equation one we eliminate it from the other equation in this case we want to eliminate this part to remain the uh, one coefficient in here so to do this uh, we multiply the two to uh we multiply the uh, equation two by two so it should be like this and by adding these two equation we 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 get the, this new equation right so it is here so we get we get the another linear system like this and then and the next step we want to remain the this coefficient only by reducing or eliminating this part so how can we do that so uh, so because there's a one there's a one value so we multiply the three to this uh, equation like this and add these two equation and finally we get the x3 is equal to 3 right and then what else what should we do so if if there is no coefficient here here we can we can naturally know the what is the x1 is what is the x2 what is x3 so we want to eliminate uh, these three values three terms so yeah there is there are procedures like that and finally we get the x1 is equal to 29 x2 is equal to 16 and x3 equal is equal to 3 right so this is the uh, basic procedure to solve the linear system right so actually it's a little bit complicating so i would say you can do this by your hand right okay so it was the solution of this uh this system so yeah like this yeah so so what do you want to do next what do you want to do next Now we have a matrix. It really doesn't make much sense to write the every things all the time. So we have these things, elementary law operation that corresponds to what do we do with all our variable and those long equation. So, so we introduce the elementary law operation. There is the three things we can do the we can replace the low we can exchange the lows and we can scaling the lows okay let's see the what they mean i'm going to talk about scaling first for uh so scaling what can we do is we can multiply a low by any number for example here is a matrix five 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 zero 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 something like this. There is the two row, row one and row two, like this. Okay, so the scaling means we can just multiply, uh, row one by any constant number. Uh, let's say we are going to turn it into the one over five of the first row. Then, yeah, let's say like this. Then, like this, okay? So then, we can get what? 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, like that. It is a scaling, right? What was that? Let's see. Where is the scaling? Here. So, so, when we want to remove the, this part, we should use the this equation, right? 
I mean the this row, right? But they uh, these two values have the different the constant. So what we want to do is we want to multiply the multiply this this row by three to to make the this equation. So we can finally get the x three equals three. So so to get this value, we want to we want to use the scaling property, right? So you this is the scaling. And when we want to exchange the row here, it just exchange the two this uh two rows. So let's say there is one row and another row here like this. So row exchange means row exchange means just swap the positions of them. Okay, we could swap the row one and row two, and we are now have a uh, one four nine zero two three something like that. Okay, so this is the interchange. And the last one, the replacement is most complicated one. But it's also very intuitive. Okay, here is the example, the six three one two one zero. The replacement means the replace the one row, one row, by the sum of itself and the multiple of another row. What does that mean? Okay, let's see the example. For instance, we want to. We want to replace the okay, this is row one, this is row two. We want to replace the row one by sum of itself plus a multiple of another another row, let's say let's say two. Something like this. Okay? So then how can we how can we compute that? Okay, so this is the original value, and this is the two times two because this uh, you are uh, the coefficient of this position was two. So with uh, this uh, two times, we can get this equation, and three times two over one, one pl uh, plus three, so one plus two times zero. And the second row uh, remains unchanged. And what is that? It should be 10, it should be 5, 1, 2, something like this. So this is the um, exp uh, row displacement. What was that? Let's see the example. Uh, what is the good example? Ah, here. Okay. Uh, okay. We were we were wanting to eliminate the this value. So how can how can we do that? Uh, this is a low one. This is a low three. We want to eliminate this this value. So we can say that we can replace the R3 like the four times R1, row one, like this. So this is the uh, row replacement operation. So the, the result is like this, right? Correct? Yeah, right. Because uh, four times row one was four times row one is four negative 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 eight negative eight four zero and original row three was four five nine negative nine like this and when we cross this one it should be zero negative three thirteen negative Nine like this. Yeah, it is it is the same to this right, right? So as you can see here, by using the 
this kind of elementary law operation, we can make the procedure is much easier. Okay, so that's why we learn the elementary law operation. Here's one more concept. So if there is a sequence of elementary law operation, sequence of elementary law operation means like any any possible combination of this law operation. Then the 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 two matrix, the input and output matrix are called the law equivalent. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, here is the here is a matrix. Uh, let's say two, one, five, two, three, eight. So we we can just apply the scaling operation thing like this. Uh, two times row one, then we can get a four, two, ten, and two, three. A, no, right? So this is a uh, another matrix, and we can also apply the another row operation, elementary row operation, something like the R one interchange R two, then it will be it two three eight four two ten something like this, right? So in this case, uh. This linear system, this linear system, this linear system. In other words, this augmented matrix, this ma augmented matrix, this augmented matrix are low equivalent because uh, between them there is only a uh, sequence of elementary operations like this. So they are all uh, low equivalent. It means that if uh, if the augmented matrix of a two linear systems are low equivalent, then two systems have the what? Have the same solution. It is really really important. Why? Because the when we apply the uh low okay, let's using this this slide. When you apply the low uh elementary low operation between there, the solution set should not be changed. So the, to, to get the final solution, so, so this, uh, this low equivalent property is real. So that's why the, this low equivalent property is really important. So how can we prove it? How can I, how can, how, how can I do that? Because the, this low operation is reversible. What does that mean? Because uh, when we have the, this matrix, um, we can multiply 1 over 2 times R1, then we can we can get another matrix like this. Then these two row operations are invertible. Then what can we do? What can we see? This original matrix and uh, um, this converted matrix have the same solution set, right? So this is the the low equivalent concept. Okay. So when solving the linear system, there is there is a two question that we have to have in mind. So question number one. Question number one. Is the system consistent? Is the system consistent? Doesn't have the solution? It is related to the existence of the solution of the linear system. Okay? We already know the what is the consistency. What is the consistent matrix? Right? So it is related to the existence of the solution. Another so question is the the solution is unique. Is that the only solution or the infinitely many solutions? 
this is related to the uniqueness concept. So this is related to uniqueness of the linear system, like this. So these two questions are very important. So these two questions will appear through the lectures and we will find the answer about these two uh, equations, two questions, okay? Okay, so, okay, then let's solve the system in a matrix world now, okay? So the question is, Determine if the following system is consistent. This is question. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. To recap, a linear system is consistent if there is a, what? If there is at least one solution. Otherwise, it is going to be the what? Inconsistent. Okay. So we'll write. Okay, so linear system system consistent if if what at least one solution at least one solution. And inconsistent if otherwise. Okay. We already learned this, so please remember this part. Okay. So, how should we solve this? Mm, we should try to first find the solution of this linear equation and then check there is exit solution or not, okay? Uh, first of all, there are a bunch of equations with variable. We don't deal with this equation anymore because we now have a matrix and we already learned the uh, elementary law operations. So in this example, we can, we can use the matrix operation to solve this problem, okay? So here is the linear system, but fortunately we already solved this linear system, right? Actually, this is the same to this linear equation, right? So we already know the we already know the uh, triangular form of this matrix here, like this. So we can just Borrow this concept here, so we can reduce the this uh, original linear system as like this, this in a matrix form. Here is the very very important concept is the triangular form. Okay, so we can learn the this concept in the next slide, but we can just see that the it is really important to make the this original uh, system in to the triangular form like this because if we if we know the triangular form we can solve the this system very quickly using the this uh, using the reverse step like this because uh, this is x this, uh, this column related x3, x2, x1. It means that x3 is equal to 3. Then we can use the these values to um, to compute the these values and these values, right? And then we can find the uh, value x2 using the this part, uh, these values and these values. Okay. So that's why the triangular form is, uh, is really important and it can be learned in the following slides. Anyway, anyway, so from the this original original system, we can reduce it reduce this into the like this form, and 
Okay, let's find the solution. So, so x3 is equal to 3, then in this, uh, in this row, x2 minus 4 times 3 is equal to 4. It means that x x2 equals what? x2 equals what? 16, right? Then we know the x3 and x2. Then from this from this row, we can say that x1 negative 2 times what? 16 plus 1 times 3 is equal to 0. Like this. It should be negative 32, 3, and negative 9, right? So it's going to be x1 is 29, right? So like like this, we can solve this the linear system, and because there is the solution, the system is consistent. Okay, so we can say that this system is consistent because the there is a solution like uh, x one equal twenty nine sixteen three something like that. Okay, so this is the uh, this is related to the uh, existence of the system like this. Okay, let's move to the another example. Here is another example. Uh, the question is determine if the following system is consistent. This is the same problem of previous one, right? So okay, to recap. In this example, how do we know this system, this system has a solution or not? First of all, we have to solve the system and then we can check that this system has the solution or not. Like this. Then we can say that this, this system is consistent or not. Okay? So first of all, let's solve the system. Uh, Okay, in this example, let's solve the system with a matrix using the elementary law operation. Okay, what was the elementary law operation? What was that? What was that? Replacement, right? Then, interchange. Then, scaling. Oh, sorry, <laughs> scaling. Okay, so what do you want to do on this matrix? Okay, first of all, what is the augmented matrix of the, this linear equation? This thing. Think about the size of augmented matrix first. Because there is the three equation, the, the number of rows should be three like that and because there is a three column the number of the column should be like this right then there is a zero times x1 here plus x x2 so the this augmented matrix should be zero one here negative four here a like this two here Negative three, two, one, five, negative eight, seven, one, something. Like this. You can do that now, right? So this is augmented matrix. From now on, we can just use the this augmented matrix to 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 reduce the this into the a uh, triangular form or more more reduced form. That is easier to solve. Okay. What can we do first? What can we do first? First of all, we should keep the x1 x1 in the first row 
and eliminate it from the other row, right? But as you can see here, in the top left here, there's uh, no, uh, no const, uh, there's no, I say non-zero values. So there is zero, so we cannot make, we cannot keep the x one here, right? So, so first of all, we have to exchange the first this first row with the second word, third row, okay? Okay, so how can I choose? How can we choose the row two or row three? Okay. There is a non zero uh, non zero values in row two and row three, so we can use any kind of the uh row two to interchange the this with this row one, right? Actually, there is some issues, which one is better, but now we just think about the, we can use any low, uh, we can use the any low, any low, such as a low two and low three for low one, okay? So in this case, we just, we just exchange, we just exchange the low one and low two, right? So in, it means that Okay, let's stay. Okay, let's stay. This is R1, R2, R3. Then what is what was that? It was R1 exchange with R2, right? So so actually it was uh R2 in the original matrix, but it is now Lu1. Okay? Then actually it was the row 1 in the original matrix but is now row 2 new row 2 okay so the row 3 remains unchanged okay so this is row 3 okay okay so so we have we have the values on in the top left Time left, and then we want to make there is there exists only one only single single variable in the this column, right? Because the, if there is a single column, we can make the reduced form like the triangle form something like this, right? So what can we do? So to eliminate this term in the R three. We can use this one. So, how can we do that? If we can just uh, multiply multiply R one by negative four times two, then what can that? Then it will be negative five, negative three, negative three, two, one. Then, then. There was the uh, R three here five negative eight seven one subtracted, and then we can just add this part. It will be zero. What is that? Oh no. Okay, let's do okay. Okay, so it was negative five and yeah, it's negative five, and it should be. Uh, 15 over 2 and it will be negative 5 and it will be negative 5 over 2 and like that fully check this is correct or not because I'm not sure if it's correct yet but yeah pretty check that anyway so should, this is original matrix 1 and it should be 0 it should be 15 so it should be negative 1 over 2 here it should be two, and it should be what? Negative three by two. Okay, so this is the new row three here. Oh. Actually, there is error. It should be zero. Okay, so 
So, how can we, how can we, oh, what was the low operation in this part? So it was row three can be represent, uh, replaced, uh, replaced by original row three plus, plus negative five over two times what r r one okay so yeah so summary it was uh it was interchange and it was replacement replacement okay so yeah we have uh, we have a value 2 here and this is the zero then what can we do next what can we do next okay the column 1 is done and we should so, uh, we should uh, reduce the this part again then how can we do that by using this number, we want to remove the these values. Then, how should we do that? Right? How should we do that? Yeah, let's move to here. So, how should we do that? Okay, let's say this is a new R2 and this is a new R3. If we multiply the R2 by negative 1 over 2 it will be the negative 1 over 2 let's say let's just let's say the plus 1 yeah then is negative 2 then 4 and this is the original 1 and 2 32 right then if we added this too low we can get new 0 uh 5 over 2 okay so this procedure can be represent like r3 r3 plus plus what was that uh 1 over 2 times r2 like that it is also replacement right so and then this new values can be represent uh can be replaced can replace the this original values like this yeah like this okay so now we have a triangular matrix form right triangular matrix form okay let's draw okay we have a triangular matrix form now comparing to the original one comparing to the original one what's that let's take a uh, what was the original one here we are that. yeah here is the original one zero four one negative four eight two negative three two one five negative negative four negative eight seven one we convert the this original matrix into the triangular form here so so okay so what can we infer from the this triangular form okay from this matrix we can find the solution of the original linear system right how because we multiply the sequence of the elementary law operation and this matrix and original matrix are row equivalent and thus they have the same solution right okay to interpret it correctly go back to the equation notation so how can we go back to the equation uh, equation notation from the this matrix form? 
we already know this column related to the x1, this column related to x2, x3, something like this. So the first law can be represented as the, this equation. 2x1 mi uh, minus 3x2 plus 2 times x3 is equal to 1, right? What about this? It can be represented 0 times x1 plus 1 times x2 minus 4 times x3 is equal to 8. And in the last one case, x1 times x, uh, 0 times x1 plus 0 times x2 plus 0 times x3 is equal to 5 over 2, right? So let's simplify the this. Let's simplify the this equation. Okay. So anyway, we got we got the, this equation form. Okay. So as you can see here, what does that mean? Zero is equal to five over two. What does that mean? It means that there is no values that satisfy this system because the equation zero is, is equal to five over two is never true, right? So it means that we can say that there are no values of x1 and x2 and x3 that satisfy this. Then we, we already know this original equation and this reduced locations are low equivalent and it means that what? They have a same solution. Same solution set. That it means that this original system also doesn't have any solution. So it means that what? This original system is inconsistent. Okay? This is the concept of the uh, this is a concept of the inconsistent, okay? So as you can see here, as you can see in the 3D space that contain uh, three, these three planes of each equation, this is a one equation, this is equation. Yeah, let's draw again. So it is the one, one, plane then represent one equation. This is uh, another equation that represent another equation. And there is uh, one more equation like this, right? As you can see here, there is uh, no point that lies in uh, all three planes. It means that there is no intersection between those planes. That it means that they don't have any solution, right? And it means that what? This this terms are consistent, inconsistent, consistent. Okay. Okay. So this is the uh, existence and uniqueness term in the linear system. Okay, so far in this week, we have learned the, what is the system of linear equation and how to solve this linear equation and two fundamental questions about the linear system, existence and uniqueness. Okay. Okay, so this is the end of today's lecture. So in the next week, we will learn the, we will learn the more um how to say um next in this uh in the next lecture we will refine the method of the today's uh math today's uh we can refine the method for solving the linear system to um into the low reduction algorithm it's also called the gaussian elimination which enables us to uh, analyze the an any any system of linear equation okay it means that Comparing to the uh, 
this week uh this week's uh, lectures uh from next lecture we can use the more systemic way called the gaussian elimination okay